good morning students are you all fine okay in the previous classes we have learned about the responsibilities of project manager that is project planning and project monitoring and control activities an important activity in project planning is estimation of cost time and effort this forms the estimation of cost time and effort forms the basic of project planning the estimation of such parameters that is the estimation of cost time and effort will help to quote the customers about the overall estimation of the project overall cost estimation of the project and also it helps the project manager for resource planning and scheduling so this forms the estimation of these basic parameters forms the basic activity in project planning so this is also included in the responsibilities of a project manager there are three broad categories of estimation techniques that is ex uh, empirical estimation techniques heuristic estimation techniques and analytical estimation techniques so these three categories of estimation techniques are used for estimating the basic parameters of the project you know what are the basic parameters of a project the basic parameters of the project includes both the independent parameters as well as the dependent parameters as we have learned in the project planning process the most independent parameter of a project will be the size of the project so the size of the project would be uh, estimated first before estimating any other parameters the most important parameter of the project that is the size of the project will be estimated first based upon the size of the uh, project the other dependent parameters means depending upon the size of the project the effort may change effort required to uh, develop a software may change and the cost for the development of a project may change depending upon the size size of the project and the duration the time required for the development of a project may change depending upon the size and of course the project staffing and scheduling also depends upon the size of the project so the major the basic independent parameter of a project will be the size of the project so the first the independent parameter size size of the project will be estimated estimated and depending upon that the other dependent parameters will be estimated so we shall see these three estimation techniques in detail first one is the empirical estimation techniques the empirical estimation technique is based on making an educated guess of the project parameters it is the basic of empirical estimation technique is a subjective decision based upon the past experience with the development of the similar products or basing uh, based on the common sense of an expert based upon these two factors that is the past experience with the development of the similar products and based upon the common sense a basic estimation of the product project will be done this is the empirical estimation techniques so it is it merely depends upon uh, based upon making an educated guess of the project parameters of course past experience uh, helps a lot in making such a educated guess and it is highly dependent on the common sense of the project manager although it it is based on the common sense of a project manager 
over years different uh, formalizations are made on the empirical estimation techniques so there are uh, two basic formalizations of empirical estimation techniques that is first one expert judgment technique and the second one delphi techniques expert judgment techniques the name itself says it is the judgment made by an expert that is after analyzing the problem an expert makes an educated guess of the cost of different components components means different modules of the project so expert judgment technique is the estimation of the basic parameters done by an expert after analyzing the problem thoroughly so an expert analyzes the problem thoroughly and after analyzing the problem he makes an educated guess of the uh, basic parameters cost time effort etc so this is also based on a guess educated guess of the project he makes an uh, an expert estimates the cost of different components that means different modules or subsystems of the project and then he combines all the estimates of the individual modules to form an overall estimate of the project so at first an expert analyzes the various components components or modules or even subsystems of a project and then he forms an estimate estimation of all the parameters required for development of these subsystems or modules and then he arrive uh, at an overall estimate by combining all the estimations of these subsystems by combining the estimation of all the modules of the project he arrives at an overall estimate so uh, the, the it is clear that this technique is subject to human errors and maybe uh, individual bias also influence the estimation technique because it is done by an individual even though he is an expert he, it is done by an individual so it is subject to human errors because an expert may overlook some factors he may give importance for some factors or an expert may not have experience and knowledge of all the aspects of the project an estimation should be done with an overview of all the aspects of a project but when we when the estimation is done by a particular individual he may not have much experience and knowledge of all the aspects of the project for example he may be an expert uh, with some aspects of a project but he uh, he may be aware of uh, the database and the user interface parts but he may not be much aware about the computer communication part so an individual may not be an expert in all the all aspects of a project so when the estimation is done by an individual it may influence his knowledge or his uh, unawareness his ignorance may affect in some case so and uh, a more refined form of the expert judgment is the estimation made by a group of experts when the estimation is made by a group of experts some sort of influence or some sort of um, ignorance could be avoided so when an estimation is made by a group of experts other than an individual person it may overcome some sort of human errors that means it minimizes the factors such as individual oversight lack of familiar familiarity with a particular aspect of a project or personal bias or even uh, the desire to win the contract over uh, by over optimistic estimates 
so these uh, are uh, some sort of political considerations or personal considerations all could be avoided when the estimation is done by an by a group of experts so this forms a uh, more refined form a more refined form of expert judgment is the estimation made by the group of experts the basics of the empirical estimation techniques is that to make an educated guess of the project by analyzing the project he may get an idea of estimation uh, of the basic parameters needed for the development of a project so in expert judgment technique an expert analyzes the different aspects of the problem and he divides the problem into major subsystems or modules then he estimates or he uh, calculates the parameters that means he estimates the cost effort and time needed for the development of these subsystems and then he combines the estimation of these subsystems to arrive at an overall estimate as we said this is subject to many human errors and many personal or political considerations may influence this estimation process so uh, a refined form of the expert judgment technique is to arrive at an estimation by a group of experts when the estimation process is done by a group of experts some of the human errors or individual bias could be overcome okay this is expert judgment techniques and the shortcomings as we said the shortcomings of the expert judgment is it is subject to human errors and individual bias and the expert may overlook some factors inadvertently expert making an estimate may not have relevant experience and knowledge of all aspects of a project and issues arising out of political or social considerations or the decision by made in in any case decision made by a group is more effective than uh, the decision made by a single individual okay the next one the next uh, the second form of empirical estimation technique is the delphi cost estimation delphi cost estimation overcomes all some uh, not all some of the shortcomings of the expert judgment approach delphi estimation technique delphi cost estimation technique is carried out by a group of members group of experts and it contains a coordinator also so delphi estimation is carried out by a team comprising of a group of experts and a coordinator the coordinator provides each estimator with a copy of the software requirement specification document the srs document it forms the basis for all the developmental process of a software the coordinator provides uh, each estimator with a copy of the srs document and each estimator is provided with a form for recording his cost estimate so it contains the delphi cost estimation technique comprises of a team of members team of experts and a coordinator at first the coordinator provides each estimator with a copy of the srs document and a form to record his cost estimate the estimators uh, can analyze the various aspects of the problem and estimators complete their individual estimates and sub uh, submit it to the coordinator so after analyzing all the aspects of the problem by the by using their past experience in the similar project or with the with their own common sense they arrive at an in estimate and after completing their estimate they submit it to the coordinator also the estimators can mention any unusual characteristics of the product that may uh, influence a lot 
there in estimations if they found any unusual characteristics of the software product project on their estimation process they can mention it on their form the coordinator prepares the summary of all the responses of the estimators and uh, he can also mention uh, any unusual estimations or unusual rationale noted by any of the estimators he can make a summary he makes a summary out of all the estimators report and he could even mention any unusual uh, factors that influenced uh, the estimators and the prepared summary information is again distributed to the estimators based upon the summary the estimators reestimate see it is an iterated process this process is iterated for several rounds and uh, but in these several rounds no discussion among the estimators are allowed because if they are allowed for a discussion the uh, they may be influenced by some estimators some estimators may have um, much more experiences or uh, may uh, may he be, be a, a senior so this may influence the estimation of the project so no discussion is allowed between the estimators and this process is again repeated after completion of several iterations of the estimations the coordinator takes the responsibility of compiling the result and preparing the final estimate so this is the delphi cost estimation so it is carried out by a group of experts and a coordinator coordinator provides each estimator with a copy of the software requirements specification document and a form for recording his cost estimate estimators can complete uh, their own cost estimation report based upon their knowledge past experience or their own common sense and then they submit the report to the coordinator the coordinator pro, uh, arrives at a summary he forms a summary out of all the estimations made by the individual experts and the summary is again given to the estimators the estimators again uh, reestimate the project and this process is done iteratively and finally based upon the report formed by each experts the coordinator uh, compiles the result and prepares the final estimate this is the delphi cost estimation technique so we uh, we know what is an empiri uh, empirical estimation technique and we learned about the two broad categories of the empirical estimation techniques that is, that is the expert judgment technique and the delphi cost estimation so both all uh, these formalizations are based upon the judgment made by expert by an expert or maybe a group of experts so it is purely empirical estimation techniques are purely based on making an educated guess of a project okay now next one is the heuristic techniques unlike the empirical estimation techniques heuristic techniques are based upon mathematical expressions that means it depends upon the relationships among the different project parameters and these different project parameters can be found using some suitable mathematical expressions in this heuristic techniques first an independent parameter of a project is analyzed that means the most into independent parameter of a project will be the size of the project so this uh, the size of the project is estimated first and based upon this uh, independent parameter the other dependent parameters are easily calculated by substituting the value of the basic parameters in a mathematical expression so this forms the basis of heuristic techniques that means at first 
they estimate the basic independent parameters such as size of the project and depending upon this independent parameter other dependent parameters are calculated by substituting value of the basic parameters in a mathematical expression again the uh, heuristic estimation models can be divided into two classes the single variable model and the multi variable model in a single variable model the single uh, variable estimation model provide a means to estimate the desired characteristics of a problem using some previously estimated characteristics of the software product as we said earlier some basic independent parameter of a project will be calculated first maybe the size of the project so depending upon this the other parameters are calculated using a mathematical expression so the, the single variable estimation model takes the form estimated parameter equal to c1 into e raised to d1 in this expression e is the characteristics of the software that have been already estimated that forms e forms the most independent parameter of the project maybe the size of the project so after calculating the value of e after estimating the independent parameter we calculate the other dependent parameters using this mathematical expression so here estimated parameter is the dependent parameter to be estimated and the dependent parameter to be estimated could be uh, any other parameters effort duration staff etc c1 and d1 are the constants and these constants are usually determined using the past experience that means using the data collected from the past similar projects so this forms the historical data the constant c1 and d1 are the historical data collected from the uh, past experience of developing similar projects e is the already estimated data that is the size of the project is already estimated and it is e based upon this estimation the other parameters dependent parameters will be estimated that is the effort duration staff size etc are estimated by forming the constants c1 and d1 the c1 and d1 are the data collected from the past projects an important uh, example of sing, uh, single variable estimation is the cocoma model the next heuristic uh, technique is multi variable cost estimation model the multi variable cost estimation model uses the mathematical expression estimated resource equal to c1 into e p1 raised to d1 plus c2 into e p2 raised to d2 etc here also we make use of constants like that we have used in the single variable estimation techniques here e p1 e p2 etc are the basic independent characteristics of the software that is already estimated like uh, like that we have done in the single variable estimation models here also e p1 e p2 etc are the independent parameters or characteristics of the software already estimated and c1 c2 d1 d2 are all the constants these constants are also um, gathered from the historical data constants are collected from the past projects but these multi variable estimation models uh, gives more accurate estimates comparing with the single variable models it is more accurate because uh, as project parameter is typically influenced by several independent parameters the independent parameters influence the dependent parameter to a great extent so we make use of uh, 
several constants c1 c2 d1 d2 and these constants are usually determined from the historical data an example of the multivariable model is intermediate kokomo model it is an example of multivariable cost estimation and the last estimation technique is analytical estimation techniques analytical estimation techniques depends greatly on scientific basis so we derive the required results starting from uh, certain basic assumptions regarding the project but unlike the empirical and heuristic techniques analytical techniques do have certain scientific basis this is also based on some assumptions we make use of some assumptions of the project but it the basis of the analytical estimation technique is scientific it has a more scientific basis other than uh, the empirical estimation technique or the heuristic estimation techniques an example of this is halston software halston's software science is used as an analytical estimation techniques but still it makes use of some simple assumptions usually halstead's software science is used for estimating the maintenance effort for estimating the maintenance effort it uh, it is found to be more accurate than any other uh, methods empirical or heuristic techniques so these are all the project estimation techniques hope now you are clear with the topic learn well thank you